A team from Doctors Without Borders, MSF, officers from KCCA, Ministry of Health and Mulago officials have all been at the emergency facility which is under renovation to give advice. Even if there are no patients yet, disinfection is amassed before and after entering the Ebola isolation center in Mulago. The former cholera camp is now being fine-tuned in order to fit a modern facility fit to serve Ebola patients who could be rushed here any minute from now. Whenever we receive a case, we can now have a case admitted here. Water supply and electricity have all been put in place, plus other logistics. Sources have informed us that this morning a dead body was treated here and they suspected it could have been an Ebola patient who died. However, the hospital director refutes the claims. You know, there are very many things that mimic different diseases, but this is an infectious disease that killed this person. And uh, it was really very unfortunate that we had not um, uh, had some of the results like of the Ebola right now before he died. So we shall communicate to you later after the other results have come what killed the patient. Apart from a clinical officer who was referred here last month and died of Ebola, the officials here say there is no confirmed cases in Mulago so far. However, they call for vigilancy in all communities to all signs and symptoms of Ebola, which include high fever, vomiting, rush, among others. Irene Namialo, NTV.